They've been given the green light to return, but it's not all rosy in the garden of women's football. While the predominantly professional top two divisions in the men's game has continued, the SWPL's been shut out since January, with teams only being allowed to train a few weeks ago. We were the only sort of professional league that was paused. Um, and yeah, it, it was annoying. For any athlete, you're training on a daily basis and you don't know when you're going to return. The men were allowed to train and not the women when the funding was there. While some clubs feel there was a lack of clarity over their return, they are also frustrated at the lack of funding from the governing body. The SFA were given over £300,000 by UEFA to aid the return of the women's game during this global pandemic. Clubs say they weren't given enough of that pot. As a result, clubs want change, more representation at the highest level. It feels at times like there's no one on our side. There's no one there to, 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 to fight our cause. There's actually no one in power for the women's game to actually f to, f to fight that, that battle. Ahead of the resumption of the women's game, amateur side Four for Farmington have a specific gripe with the Scottish FA. They say they submitted paperwork to sign Northern Irish midfielder Leoncha McVarnock last year, but are still to be given clearance for her to play. Well, it's hugely disappointing, um, you know, because we've done the right thing. We've submitted our paperwork in time. As I say, we did it in December and uh, we're still waiting. And even though they've realised the problem, that there seems to be no urgency in getting it resolved for us. Uh, and I just think, you know, if that happened in, you know, the men's top league, it would it'd be resolved by now.